Uh, on the line now, Dr. David Lowe, no, forgive me, Richard Tice, who is an eyewitness, somebody who saw part of what unfolded in Westminster this lunchtime. Richard, what did you see? So, hi there, good afternoon. I came out of Westminster Tube, which was being locked down sort of immediately behind me, was ushered on to the bridge and looked across to the west pavement of the bridge and literally north to south, I must have counted between eight and ten uh, prostate figures on the ground. Uh, the, uh, my understanding from someone next to me was that a car or vehicle had driven along the whole pavement, knocking people over. Uh, and that's why there were many injuries, uh, or many uh, people laying on the ground, uh, starting to be attended to by paramedics. Um, but literally from north to south, the whole length of the bridge, uh, there were people on the ground who had clearly been injured uh, by either a car or a, uh, a vehicle. So pretty dramatic scenes, reports of uh, gunshot fired and uh, simultaneously um, uh, grey and black vehicles arriving with special forces uh, in masks and things. So uh, pretty dramatic scenes and uh, hopefully uh, people are, are, are no, more than, uh, no more than injured. We don't know at this stage, Richard, but, uh, but there are reports suggesting anything between 2 and 12 people were injured on the bridge. Which, which number seems close to the reality of what you saw? Uh, I, I definitely counted at least eight people, the length of the bridge, on the ground being tended to, uh, from, literally from north to south along the whole length of the bridge.